M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. So take a look here. You may not have heard of this. It's called Ham Shack Hotline. They've actually been running for several years and I've had my device here for over three years and you can buy these. This is a Cisco 525. Here's a used one on eBay for about £25. Many offices had these devices and, and sold them when they became, you know, older technology. But they're perfect for ham radio because they can link you via the Internet. And there's lots and lots of information. There is a learning curve to using this. You are assigned your own number, which and you do have to register. The, the first few lines of, you know, describing ham shack hotline say, Hamshake Hotline, or H8, is a free, dedicated VOIP telecom service for the ham radio community. Typically, phones are established in ham shacks, clubs, members, ARES, and other ham-related areas and functions. It is not the intention to replace traffic, just to enhance it. So I'm just going to click a few of the different tabs they've got, and they do have several. One of the important ones that you will use is the wiki page when setting up and they can send down and set up your phone just via the internet which is pretty cool once you've got your number and it actually loads up the screen if you see my screen now it loads that up for me and i can make a call to my ham radio friends now it it saves messages and there's even a bluetooth link between your mobile phone and this device as well so you you don't even actually have to use the handset that's there. There's also an app that you can use. There's a few apps, some are free, but this is a pay for one called Groundwire. And that allows you to, you know, once assigned the correct number to use exactly the same system. And you do, it does record voice messages, which you can play back later. And clicking through some of the tabs they have, this is what they call the BLF dashboard. It's basically like almost like a live dashboard to let you know what's connected. The BLF came from when you had the lights on phones and they would light up and you'd push the button and, and then you could talk to those people. That's where it all originated. Here's just a couple of active users now. Now I'm not online now, but if I ring someone, it should add me now. Let's see if I can do that. Now you can obviously link users together with their number and you can see all the numbers on the left, but you can also link all star connections and Arduino connections are not used the Arduino side. So, for example, there's one air called Echolink in the United States, Cedar Springs. So, if I dial 94021, so you go 94021, dial node 551161 connected, and it says I'm connected. There's no one there at the moment. Just shrink that down a bit and then we can look at some all the different connections that we've got here. If you start from the top, you've got call signs and all star numbers. So if you've got a local all star node near you, they could register, get one of these phones and um, connect it all up. It's just a matter of configuring your all star node. Really a Raspberry Pi is all you need with the correct all star configuration in the SD card. So that one's not active. Now, if I try and find a UK one, I've not been on here literally for over a year. So I need to catch up with what is connected. There's one. I see there's many in the... Yeah, there's United Kingdom there. I got that South Wales. Should we try that one? So that's G8, no, GWA-SZL. So if we end it, press the sort of speaker button, and that number is... 94144 you dial it and then you press the green node 4998155 connected Atmendo, and uh it's a for the pitch to listen to stations to call in on the net on the way to for the better the k for the pitch So it looks like there's a net on now so have a little listen Just hit it a minute. See if anyone hears me. M0 FXB, M0 FXB, just a quick test. 
if anyone comes back. You can actually customize the screen. So I just thought I'd show you, it remind you of it, it's 2024 now. Of course, you can up and down the volume, say there's a, a large amount of settings. It is wireless. Or you can use an Ethernet cable built-in Bluetooth, because even though it's an older office phone, it's very advanced. You know, they've packed a lot of functionality in there. You can actually power it from the Ethernet cable, but mine's powered via a normal power supply. Let's click a few more links, and then we'll end the video. So you've got this link here, which is called Bridges. See there where things have been connected numbers there bridge number that's your home page all the art will call it RF links you can search individual hams they're showing me online now look because I'm connected to something you can click my call sign and it takes me straight to to my QRZ, which I haven't looked up for a long time. Okay. Um, or we could click one of the other stations. And we're there. That's pretty cool. So these are active users right now using an extension. I mean, in America, it's the middle of the night. Some information there about BLF. Now, the wiki page. That's a really important one. You go documents wiki. You've got all these help and learning links. You know, you are encouraged to learn as much as you can yourself. See the word here provisioning. Okay? Provision guide menu. Provision is basically the initial setup because when you first buy one of these, it's not going to be set up the way that you're seeing. I'll leave it running in the background that conversation. And it does tell you the, the, the different telephones, let's call it, that, that they support. Otherwise, you're going to have to, you know, do some learning on how to set yours up. It, it needs a username and password, yeah, you know, and um, and a special number for your device to connect up. It's all part of the learning. I'm not showing that in this video. I've made several videos as well showing how that all works. So let's choose my model. Cisco 525. Now, for example, once we've got your model, see this address here. If I copy this address and paste it into my browser with my IP address, okay, the IP address of my device that you're seeing in the in the video. Move that down so you can see the IP address. Add my IP address there. It will automatically upload everything you, that this phone is doing. Uh, with my details, you know, with my correct details after registering. Now, to register, you do need to go to, let's find the right page for that. Go to the home page and select HHOPS help desk. There you are. And the system is that, you you know, once you, you have to sign in and register. Okay. Create an account here. Sign in. Once you've done that. You open a ticket. It's almost like asking for a question, and they always reply, always. But uh, so just give that a go. And uh, let's. Go. I haven't signed in for such a long time. Checked, and then you can check the status of your ticket. So any questions, message me. The best way is to go to the home page, read everything up. You've even got firmware updates here. Look, look, firmware update menu. And I've not done that, and I think it does it the same via your browser. Let's see if I can find mine with Bluetooth. That's mine, look. 
and I'm pretty sure I could put that in with my IP address and it's going to update my firmware. Mine's an older phone, so it's probably got the latest firmware. But I mean, it's, if you look at it, if I end the call, end the call by pressing that, and start to look inside the actual menus of this device. Push the little flag here, and look, it's like a little flag there. And look, and it just goes on and on. And this device does a lot. Remember, you can see that you can see the little Wi-Fi tab there at the top. If I if it connects to Bluetooth, you can just press the button to do that. Little MP3 player. You get a lot of technology, but hardly any money. And there are other systems as well. Hamshack aren't the only people that use the C the SIP system. So take your pick. But I mean, they do a great job, and they have done for years. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I'm sure you want to give this one a go, especially if you're in the USA. If you look at the the connections there, I mean, it's a it's a worldwide system. But look, this is massive in the USA. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 2024 Hamshack Hotline Update, showing you just all of their pages. I'll try a user search, look at this, you've got service menu. Look at all this, shortcuts. We, everything we just looked at really. Arduino is something I've not used. They've got a new one where but you dial 77 to TX. It's not it used to be 99 on the All-Star system. But when you dial an individual user, you just talk to each other. There's no transmit button. User search, let's just try it. You could M0FXB. Now my number is four you can see it there four two and then six zero is ninety and there is a way of shortening that but that's what my number is uh, phone book home and lastly I'll just show you that you can actually interface and interact and change the settings of this phone using the IP address that you're on so you are assigned an IP address when using this device and there's there's the configuration for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Okay. Could turn that on just for fun. Bluetooth status, we need to you know create a connection. Well, that's okay. You do a search that used to be my older phone there. <laughs> so we can uh, create a connection here there if we want. More details here. Well, these these are old calls that I've had history, and it, it you know it will actually email you once you've linked it. It will actually email you any missed calls. That's how good it is. Speed dial. So there is a sidecar which I haven't set up today, but there's actually a sidecar for extra firmware upgrades. So we just click it for fun, see what it does. Warning. Well, it looks like we have to select the file in this version, so I'm not going to do that now. I'll use the, I'm going to look up which firmware I've got. And you've got your provisioning system here, all the different settings. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Thanks loads to Hamshack Hotline for doing all this work. Uh, and get yourself up. I mean, there's several devices you can use. You don't have to use this one, but it's the one that stands out. Guess why? Color screen, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. What more could you want? Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 73.